frontal alienation. The term is weaponized and misused now. I agree to a point. Number one, in court, never walk in and say that there's parental alienation going on. It will close out your case pretty quickly. What you wanna focus on is the behavior and the negative effects that that behavior is causing. We do see situations, and I've talked about this on some of my TikTok videos where that have gotten people quite upset with the fact that people will often now say that they're being alienated when really they're the problem. It's a situation where one parent has done something wrong and they just don't want to take responsibility for that and people love to place blame on other people rather than take responsibility so instead of taking responsibility and changing their actions it's easier to say oh the other parents alienating me we do see that during our intake process if somebody calls in claiming domestic violence or claiming parental alienation we dig in kind of deep because if you can't answer our questions of somebody who potentially is going to be helping you if we're seeing holes in a story the judge is going to see those same holes and if you can't even answer Answer them when you're calling us to potentially represent you we don't take you on as a client however there are true cases of parental alienation and I think those people should be thrown into jail